auditioning for films. And John Youngberg, well, he's a bit of an actor himself, actor, comedian, artist. Uh, uh, I mean, what else can I say? Aside from all that, of course, he is also a superhero. But, John, the thing I don't understand is, uh, where's the mask? Well, legal <laughs> reasons. <laughs> I can't wear one anymore. <laughs> hey, look, my little rubber chest plate falling I really down. like the A on your chest, John. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm A-channel man. I think that's excellent. I have a $4 budget, and this is my suit. Well, what can you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm defender of quality we television. We do have a $4 budget just a little higher than our show has, John. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I made it myself with construction paper. That's right. Leave me alone. Thanks, John. No problem, Jay. Hello, citizens. <laughs> it's me, A Channel Man. That's right, AKA John Youngberg. Don't tell anybody. And I'm down here at Digital Chameleon, and this is going to be an amazing morning. If you're a comic fan, even if you're not, you're going to get into this show. It's going to be fantastic. Now, I don't know much about the whole comic industry. That's why I got these fine fellows down here with me, Laverne and Rick. Good morning, fellas. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good, good, Rick. Nice and and Laverne? Good morning. Morning. And they're so chipper up this early. Look, my little suit's falling apart. In a nutshell, uh, Digital Chameleon, we, we see all the, the neat stuff behind us. We're going to take Winnipeg and Manitoba on a little tour of how comics are colored. Excellent. How did you guys come about? Well, uh, basically, Laverne uh, was doing color design for comic books uh, back in the uh, late 80s and saw something that he wasn't really happy with. Uh, he had a lot of ideas that he wanted to put into comics, but the technology wasn't there to make it happen. Computers came along with a certain amount of software and said, hey, you know, I can put these two things together and... He really wanted to make the inside of a comic look as good as an outside of a comic. So from that idea, it started with uh, him working 2,000 hours a week, and we gradually <laughs> grew to uh, the company that we got today. <laughs> well, you look great, Laverne, for working 2,000 hours a week. Now, your background in comic, was it just started out as a, as a childhood thing, and you would just went into it professionally? Yeah, yeah. right back from when my father, you know, bought the comics on Saturday and carried them home, and we read them together. Uh, I think I ate them, though. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, and it came out well for you. It worked for you. Yes. It worked. It did. It oh, did. Yeah. So you, you, you saw something you didn't like and changed it. You changed the industry a well, bit. Yeah, what, what happened was I was doing um, colored guides for people to follow, and it was never as good as what I would do. So I wanted a situation where I had, you know, more control and people would see what I was actually doing. Uh -huh. And now we get all the people working around us. And, uh, ooh, color guide, that's what that is. People working around us, and uh, we're going to take uh, a little bit of a tour this morning from beginning to end. That's right. From the drawing board, drafting board, to the computer coloring and whatnot. Now, stop me if I say something that doesn't fit, because I know nothing about this. Well, your outfit doesn't fit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, Thanks a lot, Rick. Jeez. Okay, I'll have to fix my chest plate if I'm going to defend quality television. Okay. Hey, folks, stick around. Come on back. we got tons to show you down here at Digital Chameleon. Back to you, Ordinary Citizen Jay. Thank you, John. Just an ordinary citizen in a denim shirt, ready to learn all about bronzing. And, of course, we brought David down here from Precious Bronze Memories. He's got some cool stuff to show us in just a second.